we have an update on the crash that happened in front of a residence hall on the campus of Augustana University. Plus, the road trip to the road trip to the rally has changed how motorcycles are making the migration to Sturgis. Good morning. This is Kelland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A weekend attack on a woman jogger along the Sioux Falls bike path is a reminder to everyone to be safe while doing outdoor activities. Police say an 18-year-old woman was jogging near Dunham Park when a man grabbed her and put her in a bear hug. She fought back and was able to escape. Investigators later arrested this man, 20-year-old Josue Lopez Cruz, who's now facing several charges, including attempted kidnapping. While officers patrol the park system and bike trails throughout the day, Police say people still need to be aware of their surroundings. I always have my phone. Um, I try and stay in places where there's lots of commotion. Um, like I said, the one time where I went off by myself, it was all covered green. I was like, oh gosh, I don't feel safe. So I'm just going to go where I feel safe. Police also say to walk, run, or jog with two or more people and let others know your route and what time you will return. In an update to a story we first brought you yesterday on Killaland this morning, two people are waking up behind bars in connection with a robbery and crash. Authorities say the incident started at about 3 o'clock Wednesday morning on the west side of Sioux Falls. The victim and a woman were in a vehicle when a man tried to pull the victim out of the car. The suspect then stabbed the victim. The man and woman took off with the vehicle. And it was a short time after that had an officer that found that car uh, near Madison and I-29, and they went to stop it. The car didn't stop, but there was a pursuit that then happened. The car then crashed on the Augustana University campus. Police say a man and woman tried to run away, but officers were able to arrest them. 35-year-old Baru Wako Jr. faces charges of robbery, aggravated assault, grand theft, and hit and run. 20-year-old Tawny Fulbull was charged with aiding and abetting. She was also wanted on warrants. Officers say the victim was not seriously hurt. Turning to weather now, heat is once again making its way into Kelloland. Uh, let's send it over to meteorologist Scott Munt to see how hot it could get. Good morning, Scott. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. We are looking at temperatures today in the 80s and 90s. We'll also watch for an isolated shower thunderstorm across southeastern Kelloland, uh, probably this afternoon, maybe even heading into this evening. And it's only about a 20% chance to see that. As we go through this weekend, it will be warmer and widespread 90s in the forecast. Higher humidity, too, especially across eastern South Dakota. And that may lead to a couple of scattered showers or thunderstorms, which may be strong to severe for the first half of the weekend. More details on the Kettle Lane Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. All right, thank you very much, Scott. Well, the Sanford International will be back in Sioux Falls in the middle of September. While the tournament is still a few weeks away, organizers say there's a need for volunteers to help make the event run smoothly. Dave Rowe has been volunteering at the Sanford International since its first year. You get to meet a lot of new people. I've made a lot of new friends over the four years. You get to rub shoulders with some of the pros. That's kind of awesome. That's kind of a nice little perk. Organizers are aiming for about 900 volunteers. Right now, they have about 750 people signed up. Food vendors at the Sioux Empire Fair are hoping for much bigger crowds when the gates open today. Mark Moore says sales at his Indian taco truck were down 50% last year because of COVID-19. All my other years kind of average the same amount within a few thousand dollars. I, I would hope to be up 25% on above my best years. Crews finished temporary repairs on the Expo building Wednesday, fixing a section of roof that was damaged in a windstorm last month. The Sioux Empire Fair gate opens at 5 o'clock this evening. Well, let's look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Good morning, Brian. All right. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. Well, we'll entertain a couple of widely scattered shower and thunder shower chances today. We've had a little rain east of Sioux Falls this morning. That story out. And then do we see a couple of things popping up in the afternoon? At best, a 20% chance of that. I'm not going to bank on this, but I do want to at least show you where yeah, a few indicators are pointing toward that. That very well could be shifted a little bit more into southwestern Minnesota for our focus this afternoon. But we'll continue to watch that through midday. So check in on our forecast. And, uh, overnight tonight, fairly limited chances of rain. Any, any 
Widely scattered passing shower should remain in just that. And then for tomorrow, we'll kind of refocus here in western South Dakota after anything that flares up overnight. Uh, the west, I like the chances of rain Friday late afternoon and evening. I think there'll be some thunderstorms rolling into the Black Hills. That's part of that system that rolls east here getting into late Friday night and Saturday, and that will offer some better chances of rain. Structurally, this system coming in from the west for the weekend is uh, bigger. It's, it definitely has more uh, going for it, if you will, with a little more starch in the air, a little more humidity. You can see some of those morning thunderstorms Saturday. They're painted from North Dakota all the way possibly into the Sioux Falls area. And then we think that this thing will kind of regroup Saturday night. So you've got another storm chance all the way from North Dakota, clear down to almost Wichita, Kansas. So, you know, along that line, there should be some thunderstorms ongoing. The Storm Prediction Center is even calling for a slight risk of severe weather now in that warm sector. And I would concur with that. I think that uh, those things would need to be watched. It's kind of the handoff. If we get more rain, we're probably going to get some severe weather. Well, 90 degrees today, Mitchell. That's a hotter afternoon. 90 in Mobridge. Your seven day forecast trends a little cooler with the rain chance on Saturday, still though in the middle 80s. Sunday right now is a little drier, although the humidity should be plenty high East River into early next week. Sioux Falls in particular, we could have dew points in the 70s. So muggy conditions in Aberdeen, too. We're going to see an uptick in the humidity a little bit. We're hopeful that Saturday will bring some rain chances that we so desperately need. And again, for Pier and Rapid City, continue to watch Saturday. That's probably our best shot. There's another system next week that very well may impact the plains, but we're a little early on the details on that. So we've put out some 20% chances of rain there starting about Tuesday in Rapid City. Check out details with this weather online at KendallLand.com and have a great day.